Hello and welcome to Trader Chat. Today is the 6th of June 2012 and uh, this is our 28th Trader Chat and without further ado, let's go through our legal disclaimers. The first disclaimer reminds us that all trading involves risk. You should be aware of and accept this risk before trading and never trade with money that you cannot afford to lose. You should also know that past performance of any trading methodology is no guarantee of future results. And no representation is being made in this webinar that any account will achieve profits or losses similar to those discussed. Finally, all results should be considered to be hypothetical unless otherwise specified. And hypothetical performance results have many inherent limitations and unlike an actual performance record, do not represent actual trading. A few pointers about using NetViewer if you are new to these trader chats. The first thing you should know is that the best way to ask questions is to type a message into the chat window. Finally, if you cannot hear me, and that's a, that's a mysterious sort of a, a box because um, something went wrong with Prezi that I used to create these introductions today, and for some reason it lost all of our images. So there isn't an image there of a, of a speaker slider which you should slide up. So. Um, that's not going to help people if you can't hear me, so I'm sorry about that. But um, anyway, let's move on. Uh, if you like to me, please right-click and also um, enter a, a chat uh, message in the, uh, in the chat window. I see Nagaraj says the audio is not good. Um, uh, please let me know if we, have, uh, if we keep having um, audio problems, um, and I will uh, see if there's anything that I can do. Uh, from here to um, to improve things, it's good in the good in the USA. And Bart says it's very good there. Okay, good. So um, unfortunately, Nagaraj, it might be an issue unique to you. Um, if you log out and log in again, um, you might find that the audio quality is improved. Um, okay. Uh, also, be careful of mouse clicks, although um, mouse clicks are encouraging, really, because I know there's somebody there. So let's not dwell on that. Okay. Um, a few uh, comments, um, sort of housekeeping things to uh, to mention. The first thing is that we have successfully launched our new website. Um, we're very excited about it. Our website um, needed a bit of an overhaul, so um, our designers have designed us um, a new website uh, in line with the family um, uh, image that we have now. Um, it has uh, similar elements to our Hearst Signals website, so they um, uh, they all, all look similar, and uh, I think it looks very nice. So take a look at our new website. It sees, of course, on the same address, so you don't have to type in a different address. Um, in fact, I'll show it to you in a moment, and you can see see what it looks like. Uh, the other thing you should be aware of is that on the new website, we have also launched our new live analysis uh, for the euro US dollar. Um, and so uh, take a look at that. If you have looked at our live analysis system previously, I think you'll find the new live analysis system um, more informative, uh, more useful, really, um, for for you as a trader or for um, yeah, somebody who might be interested in actually trading the euro against the US dollar. Uh, final uh, thing to mention is that, of course, tomorrow we have our Oz Trader chat, one of our uh, breakaway chats, the first of our breakaway chats. Um, Oz Trader chats happen on Thursdays at 11 a.m. UTC. That is two hours earlier than our Wednesday Trader chats. So um, if you'd like to join us for that, then you are very welcome to. We will be speaking more about Hearst Cyclic Principles and about the markets and all that kind of thing. And um, I do focus on the Australian market during um, that trader chat, but I believe it is of interest to anybody who is interested in markets in general. So uh, please join us for that. Uh, let's take a quick look at our new website. Um, there it is. And uh, so, uh, do do pop by um, and take a look at our new website. It's um, it's faster and it's uh, it's much uh, much nicer, I think. And um, just something to point out: um, SD Outlook is our um, weekly blog. It has been my weekly blog, my market commentary, um, uh, thoughts of mine about the market, and you can access. Um, ST Outlook over here. We are extending ST Outlook. That's the um, uh, 
uh, good news. We're extending it. Um, it's proved to be um, very popular. And um, so, in fact, I'm not going to be the only person contributing towards SD Outlook, which I'm also very pleased about. Um, there are going to be a few other people contributing towards, uh, towards SD Outlook, um, posting their, um, their opinions about what's happening in the markets. So look out for that. Um, we are also going to be integrating what I believe is called a feed burner into SD Outlook, which means that um, you can have SD Outlook delivered automatically to your email um, uh, which is obviously uh, really great. You don't have to remember to go by the website and um, and take a look. Uh, Mark says, could I scroll this page down again? Scroll the page down. Yes, I could. Uh, there we go. You'll see a lot of um, a lot of SD outlooks. Uh, some of them are still being um, transferred from the old site, um, but I think uh, I think they're almost all there now. And um, I'm not sure uh, why Mark wanted me to scroll down, but there we go. I've scrolled down. Um, uh, also, the um, SD Outlooks, uh, the featured images and so on, are still being are still being assigned. You're not seeing pictures on your site, Mark. Um, does that mean um, uh, the pictures here next to the SD Outlook? Yeah, we're in the process of assigning uh, what are called featured images to the SD Outlooks, um, which might be why you're not seeing those those pictures on your site. Okay, on uh, on your end, they will all be up there um, over the next uh, over the next few days. Um, right, so that's our that's our new uh, website. Um, I believe there are still some ongoing audio problems. So let me just see if I can uh, do anything here. Let me just, um, I've got a computer here next to me that's busy trading, so let me stop that. Okay, all right. Um, uh, Vito has um, pasted in a, a link that uh, seems to indicate that the site has not been found. Um, Vito, what might be happening uh, depends where you are. Um, it depends where you are. The what's called the DNS propagation or something of the IP addresses um, takes, uh, I believe, 24 hours or something like that. It's quite it's possible that those um, uh, those DNS um, haven't been uh, propagated entirely all over the world. Um, I'm certainly seeing the new website where I am in Italy. Um, our servers are in in the US. US. So um, it should it should have happened, but I'm sorry if you're seeing um, a, a dead link. All of those um, all of those issues should be sorted out uh, really soon. Um, all right. So there's our there's our new web. I, I thought I would uh, point that out to you. Um, go and take a look around um, and uh, and explore it. Right. Let's get down to the heart of the matter and start speaking about the markets. And um, now I believe. Uh, that possibly this week is going to prove to be uh, a quite an important week in the markets. Um, as you know, we have been talking for a really long time, um, both in these trader chats and in ST Outlook and in pretty much uh, any conversation that, that I have about markets um, anywhere. Uh, we've been speaking about the fact that the markets are moving down into a trough of 40-week magnitude. So we're approaching that 40-week uh, cycle um, trough. Now, the chart that you're looking at um, here is, in fact, my current favorite um, or preferred analysis for what's happening in the market. And um, um, and you will see, we're, we're going to take a look at it, and I'm going to talk about some of the features of this particular analysis. And I'd be very interested to hear your opinions. Um, uh, Trader chat is not meant to be a, a, a one-way thing. It's meant to be a dialogue between um, between all of us. I'd be very interested to hear your opinions. I think that um, the chances are fairly high that the 40-week cycle trough is going to come in early as um, 
as um, uh, John has been saying, uh, uh, Silent One posting on the forum has mentioned several times, he expects the 40-week cycle trough um, to be coming in early. Um, I'm also expecting the 40-week cycle trough to be coming in early. And um, I am what, I'm watching this market very, very closely because I suspect that 40-week cycle trough might be forming um, it might be forming as we speak. Uh, it might very, very possibly have formed yesterday. But um, before we um, jump to conclusions, let's take a look at some of the evidence and see what might be happening out there. Um, Ajitendra uh, says, do, uh, do I think it has already formed? Um, I think... I think there is a chance that it might have formed yesterday. Um, I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, one has to be very careful of saying these things, but I think there is a possibility, and what, what I'm going to do in today's trader chat is I'm going to look at the evidence, because that's the most important thing that you need to do, is, is study the evidence and, and watch it um, very, um, very carefully. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's trader chat, and I'll present the evidence. I'll present both sides of the argument, if you like, and... Um, and, uh, um, I, and we'll draw some conclusions, see, um, see, see what you think is happening. Um, Mark uh, says, what are those uh, new colored pins? Ah, right, okay. I forgot to turn those off. Um, <laughs> let, me, uh, let me turn those off. Um, I'm, working with, um, I'm working with the new version of Sentient Trader, which we are releasing later in June. Um, by the end of June, the uh, new version of Sentient Trader will be uh, released. Um, all of our current users will be upgraded to uh, version 3 of Sentient Trader. It's a, it's a great step forward for Sentient Trader, and um, we've mentioned it a few times over the past few weeks. Um, um, people have, uh, uh, have been uh, hearing a little bit about it. Um, there are a tremendous number of new features, and uh, seeing as you uh, must have very sharp eyes, seeing as you noticed those pins, um, uh, let me just explain what the pins are. The pins are troughs that I have pinned myself. Um, the new version of Sentient Trader allows um, uh, allows the user to very, very quickly and very easily influence the analysis that Sentient Trader has performed. You might know, I'm not sure, Mark, whether, I'm not sure which Mark you are, um, whether you are uh, one of our users. I think that you are. Um, and you will know that in order to influence the analysis of Sentient Trader using version 2 of Sentient Trader, you need to build an expert model, which is not actually a very complicated thing. Um, but it's a fairly um, long, drawn-out process, and it's a process that's uh, very hard to do on an intraday basis. So the, um, the expert model process, whereby you influence the analysis that Sentient Trader has performed, um, uh, will still exist in, in version 3 of Sentient Trader um, for backwards compatibility, if you, if, if you like, um, for people who enjoy building expert models. Um, but Sentient Trader version 3 has an extremely powerful and uh, really fantastic um, um, process whereby you can simply pin a trough. Um, I, I, if we have time later, I'll show you a bit of it. But um, but uh, you can tell Sentient Trader where you believe the troughs should be. Okay, so um, so these um, so these troughs are okay. Um, these these troughs you can see have been pinned, and um, so I don't, I don't mind uh, showing you which troughs have been pinned. Um, and uh,